Look who it is, Marina, one of the vice presidents here. What are you, what's your title? Vice President, Experience and Engagement. Oh man, that's a great title. So let's go through the floors. Obviously, this is the main floor, the dinosaurs, right? Yes, very popular dinosaur hall. Then you move up the stairs and we have our dioramas, uh, Amer North American Hall. And then on the next floor, we have Asia and Africa Hall and our Dietrich Gallery with temporary exhibitions as well. This kind of has to be the star, isn't it? It is. It's so popular. Everyone loves dinosaurs. Especially with the kids. Absolutely. But I got to tell you, you mentioned the second floor. It, it looks real. It, it, some of them look really real. Like It looks like you're out looking on the Serengeti. It, it transports you to mm -hmm. Africa. You really feel you're there. They're works of art, the dioramas. They're tableau. They're this, these incredible works of art. How Now, is the gorilla new? The gorilla is not new, but it was recently restored, as was our Tacken. And we have, actually have three more dioramas that are going to be restored next year. Excellent. Um, and then also a great feature is the third floor where kids can actually touch things. We call that Outside In, and it's a wonderful urban nature lab for children. Okay. Tell me about the new exhibit outside. It's all about water. Right, so this is Water Year at the Academy, and we have a big project opening August 3rd called Watershed Moment. And oh, that was just six days ago. How long does it go? It goes till the end of October. Okay. And the Academy does a lot of work in waterway ecology, so this is an artwork that brings people into that experience of of their watershed. I'm telling you, there are a lot of Philadelphians who drive by this building or walk by it every day and never come in here, right? Right, let's get them on down. Come on, you've gotta come. It's an amazing Seriously. place. Seriously, more of the 2151, we'll come right back.